join us in building a more fair and transparent future, visit ParticiaBlockchain.com today. Welcome to Decrypt, the series that decodes and demystifies everything blockchain, crypto finance, and cybersecurity. Today, we welcome a company whose goal is to make saving nature more profitable than destroying it. And they are using blockchain technology and non-fungible tokens as their tools to achieve this goal. Quanning Zheng, co-founder of Fund the Planet, will explain to us how they have already been able to acquire and protect an area of rainforest roughly the size of Paris and why this is just the beginning. Quanning, thank you for making the trip from Munich to join us on Decrypt. Thank you for having me, Jennifer. Quanning, to start with, you are the co-founder of Fund the Planet. What was the motivating factor to uh, start this monumental endeavor to save Amazonia? Yes, I'm the co-founder, which means I also have three other co-founders, which is Rene, Matthias, and Nico. And the journey starts from Rene because he used to be the CEO of one of the biggest crypto mining companies in the world, Genesis Group. And then after he finished the, the CEO career, they wanted to live more sustainable by um, acquiring Amazon rainforest to protect that. But it sounds really easy, but actually to put it in a practice is totally like very, very difficult. That is why um, we came together and I figured out that the NFT and also blockchain is the missing link between endangered ecosystem and also everybody in the world who wanted to live more sustainable. Can you tell us a bit more about how Fund the Planet is different from a traditional environmental organization? Yeah, so Fund the Planet is the company which is which is able us to really acquire the land and then really to protect that. And second of all, thanks to blockchain, because after we acquire the land, we put it on the blockchain. So you mentioned uh, blockchain and NFTs. Can you tell us a little bit more about how you're using this technology to empower Fund the Planet? So there are four simple steps. First of all, we go to Amazonia region to acquire the land. Second of all, we divided the land into smaller pieces virtually, and then we tokenize each pieces into NFT. And then this NFT can be traded in the public exchange. And finally, the most important step is with the profit we make by selling these tokens, we can um, already protect the land we bought. And then also on top of that, we can acquire more rainforest to protect that. And the uh, most beautiful thing over here is that it's really different from the donation because you can resell it anytime if you are a token owner. Kwani, if I would like to buy a rainforest token, how would I do this and how would I be able to be sure that what you say you're going to do, you're actually doing? Yeah, so first of all, it's important to say if any token owner owns the rainforest token, they don't own the land, they own the protection. So basically, they will be solely accountable for all the positive impact which is generated by this piece of land. So that is really important to point out. And second of all, we pay um, people locally with the profit we make. We pay them to patrol the land because there are a lot of illegal login or like slash and burn kind of activities going on over there. Um, so we pay people over there. And how do you know? So you can go to Rainforest Explorer um, to really see the original footage, um, what they are really doing, the pictures, the videos. Building a blockchain project such as Fund the Planet sounds a bit challenging, or was it? Can you tell us a little bit about the journey? We spent tremendous amount of energy, time and money on um, scouting the land and also legal due diligence and also like environmental due diligence because we want to secure the right of all of our token owners. We want them to really um, understand what they really own and also what kind of impact they are really making. I believe you have a scoop you wanted to share with our audience at I24 News. So the floor is yours. I don't know if I can say this, but um, we do have some conversation with Major Blockchain now um, about some partnership. Um, if you don't miss out anything, you want to participate in the next acquisition, uh, make sure you follow, follow us on all the socials. And I'm really, really happy to have you on board to protect, protect more rainforest. Thank you, Kuan Ying Zeng for decrypting a way we can leverage blockchain technologies to fund the planet. Join us next week when we will meet another amazing female technology entrepreneur who works to accelerate the careers of women in the most needed tech sectors, including cybersecurity and blockchain. Thanks for watching, everyone. Partizia Blockchain, infrastructure for the greater good.